Hello, my name is Haley Allegro, and today I am presenting my master's thesis research entitled Compassion for Others and Suicidality Recovery in Undergraduate Students, a Qualitative Study, in which I am being supervised by Dr. Jessica Van Vliet at the University of Alberta. Suicide is the second most common cause of death for early adults, with undergraduate students making up a large portion of these deaths. Some risk factors that might increase the chances that an undergraduate student experiences suicidality include social isolation, hopelessness, substance abuse, and academic pressure, among others. On the other hand, the benefits of compassion for others appear to be inversely related to the psychological correlates of suicidality, such as social isolation and hopelessness. Compassion for others is described as the care and concern for another person with the desire to alleviate their suffering. No known research, however, has addressed the role of compassion for others in undergraduate students' recovery from suicidality. Therefore, the main research question of my qualitative research study is, what is the experience and meaning of compassion toward others from the perspective of undergraduate students who have recovered from suicidality? This is a brief overview of my methods section. I interviewed six undergraduate students about their experience of compassion for others and its impact on their suicidality recovery. Currently, we are in the process of analyzing the data and writing up the results. We chose to use interpretative phenomenological analysis as this is a method appropriate for studying the experience and meaning in the context of psychological phenomena. I will now go over my preliminary themes. The first theme being meaning and purpose through making a difference in others' lives. Participants said that they felt that their lives had greater purpose once they adopted a compassionate mindset. The next theme is reciprocity of compassion. Participants claimed that compassion was easier to reciprocate with those who were compassionate to them. The following theme is new identity and participants described themselves as being a compassionate person after recovering from suicidality. Next is selflessness and several participants claimed that this selfless behavior stands true to this day. The next theme is social connection and participants described that they had built stronger relationships with others while recovering from suicidality. And the last theme is better relationship with the self and participants saw an improved self-esteem within themselves. Based on the theme so far, we suggest that compassion for others may assist in suicidality recovery and undergraduate students by increasing self-esteem, strengthening relationships and further developing purpose in life. Compassion for others may also increase happiness and calmness in students. Therefore, we suggest that when counselors are working with undergraduate students experiencing suicidality, they may find that a compassionate therapeutic approach to be helpful, particularly when focused on compassion for others. Future studies should research the effects of a compassionate approach on undergraduate students experiencing suicidality. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation.